Hi, my name is Chris Hedinger with Applied Information Sciences. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a simple disaster recovery plan for Amazon Web Services. This is part three in a series uh, about disaster recovery in AWS. Uh, in part one, we took a, a brief overview of the, of the disaster recovery plan. In part two, we looked at the Amazon Web Services interface uh, and how the console works. And in this video, we'll actually demonstrate the, the actual PowerShell scripts running, creating snapshots, shutting down instances, restarting instances. So if we take a look here, um, <clears throat> our environment consists of four machines. We have a, uh, um, a scripting server, which basically this is where all of the PowerShell scripts are running. We have a domain controller, a database server, and a SharePoint server. So it's a three-tier SharePoint environment. This is an actual live environment that's running. Um, it's not a, a for a customer or anything. It's just kind of a, a development site. Here it is running live. Um, there's no domain point at right now. It's just uh, running off, off an elastic IP. You can open the scripting server. And on the scripting server, uh, there is a utility script that ha houses a, a variety of different, uh, different scripts that can be called to stop snapshots, or I'm sorry, start, stop instances, start instances, create snapshots, delete snapshots, um, a variety of different functions using the Amazon uh, Web Services SDK. Um, this script is is available um, on my blog for download. If you go to um, messer.com, um, here it is right here. You can download these the configuration uh, file tells you how to set all this up, and here's the the utilities. Here's an example of a daily and a weekly uh, uh, snapshot routine and all this is right here at messer.com. Take a look at that. So if we open up the scripting server and we're gonna go ahead and fire off the, uh, the daily snapshots. Um, now the daily snapshots when it when it goes out and creates a snapshot it's not going to shut down the uh, machines or anything. It'll basically just go out create them uh, and then shoot an email out. So this the daily snapshots is a pretty quick process. So we'll go ahead and run in here. And if we look here, we have um, some feedback inside of the window here telling what's going on. Um, it's, it's basically creating um, the first snatch, snapshot for the domain controller right now. Um, additionally, a log is created um, that shows what's going on. Backup status is one of When this is all complete, an email will be sent. Okay, now it's creating a snapshot for the database server. We can go back to the snapshots and actually see that these will be pending now. Um, DC is complete. Now it's working on the database. Here's a view. And now it's creating a snapshot for the SharePoint server. Take a look at it live too. Um, database server is complete. Now it's starting on the SharePoint. And now you can see here backup is complete. If we go to you will see all of this daily snapshots have been created. An email should be coming out. And there it is. Our email has given us a uh, all the messages on, on status. Uh, no snapshots were deleted. No more expired at this time. 